how to use a tape measure that's coming up. Hello fashion sewer and welcome to FSB TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee. If you're looking for clear and concise fashion sewing tutorials, consider subscribing and let's get started. Here I have three types of uh, tape measures, if you can believe that. Um, the first one is going to be only centimetres, so it comes in increments of 10 where it's just coded and on the opposite side it's just plain. So that is one type and it's only centimetres. The second one, as you can see, is inches and on the reverse side is centimetres. And the third is, as you can see, inches at the top and centimetres on the bottom and if you turn it to reverse side, it is exactly the same. All that a tape measure is, is a flexible ruler and it has tabs on each end um, which are metal. If you're dealing in inches it goes from 1 to 60 inches and then if you're dealing with centimetres it goes from 0 to 150 centimetres. Um, the tabs are very useful because they are useful in the sense that you can use them as markers so when you are measuring, let's say like so, you can use it as a marker. So you measure like that and that will be your tab for marking. You can also use a tab in the sense that you can mark using the edge of your tape and it's also there for you to hold. Now the tabs on each one of these are different. Now I use this one more often than not and when I don't can't find that one then these two <laughs> are an option but as you can see there's a little hole there now I'm going to share with you a little tip about how I use that hole. So in your project if you are wanting to do curved lines um, or circles you can put a pin into the hole just thread it into your fabric like so and secure it and then hold it gently into place and then you can move your tape measure in order to create that curved edge. So let's say we've got four, ten centimetres there, there again, there again. So it's a great, it's a great one to use this one especially if it's got a hole. So whenever you are using a tape measure always make sure it is straight because as, as I said earlier it is a ruler so you need to make sure that whenever you measure anything that you're not pulling it too tightly but it's slightly taut. Now I've found a lot of people who are measuring curved lines tend to use a tape measure like this in order to measure a curved line. The best way is to put your tape measure on its side and then as you're measuring a curved line just make sure that you use your fingers in the sense that you're holding it into place so let's say there's a curved line there because remember you're only taking a measurement and you hold it into position and that is how you would use it to measure a curved line. I hope it clarifies any points that people may have with using a tape measure and hopefully some of those tips you'll use in your projects. Stick around the channel for more fashion sewing tutorials. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Do leave a comment and I will see you next time.